Polynomial division is fundamental for chapter three. And here we have an example that's already set up. Uh, if this divides in, meaning if this y plus eight is a factor of this polynomial here, then our remainder will be zero. However, there's no guarantee the remainder is zero. So we're gonna go about uh, doing this division. So the way I do it is I look at the leading term and I need to figure out what do I multiply y by to get 4y squared. So I definitely need a 4. Uh, I need a 4y because 4y times y equals 4y squared. And that goes right here. And we're always subtracting. So 4y squared minus 4y squared is 0y squared. You need to get 0 here or else you made the wrong choice up here. All right, so we got our 0y squared. Uh, we also have to multiply 4y by the plus 8. So we're multiplying by this entire y plus 8. So 4y times 8 is 32y. Now you want to be careful. We're doing this. It looks like addition. However, remember, we're subtracting. This is long division. So 40 minus 32 is positive 8y. This entire column will be all of the y's, and this column is all of the y squareds, and you can probably guess that this is the constant, or y to the zero. Let me get all this craziness off the screen, all right. So, what we need to do here is multiply y by something to get 8y, and all we need to multiply by is eight. So eight times y is eight y, and eight times eight is 64. We're gonna bring down our 68. Now remember we're subtracting, which is why we get zero y and not 16 y. And again, we're subtracting, so 68 minus 64 is four, and that is our remainder. Because our remainder is not zero, or maybe it's probably better to say when remainder equals zero, you divided, divided by a factor. So ours was not zero, which means y plus eight is not a factor of this polynomial. Most of the work you're gonna do later, you want to be dividing by factors uh, and you're wanting to get a remainder zero. Uh, there'll be a few examples at first where you're, you're just doing arbitrary divisions and your remainder may not be zero.